uh, like you said, he's, he's very unorthodox, he's agile, he's tricky, you know, very agile with his legs, good power. So, you know, I, I don't need to go anywhere. You know, I have all, all I need in Montreal in my camp. I've got some good softball kicker uh, in my camp too. So, I'm ready, you know, it's, uh, it's a fight. So, you never know what's going to happen, but I do. I did my homework, homework for this fight, and I'm ready for the start. I'm ready to get good to a good fight. You know, you can't train the chin. You know, I have a good chin, I know. Uh, I'm gonna get, take everything he's gonna give me, but I'm gonna give him back for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. Uh, you know, I, I don't look that, I don't look that. You know, you can be a favorite by a million on paper, but when the bell rings, it's 50-50. It's inside the cage, and uh, you know, I can't wait to be there Saturday. Oh, well, first of all, I wouldn't consider I'm a master yet, but uh, um, I started out in Taekwondo, and um, changed over to Sancho, which is a Chinese style kickboxing, full contact, which uh, incorporates a lot of kicks and wrestling and sweeps and then also punching. So um, just been training in different styles of martial arts and just um, keeping an open mind and learning as much as I could. Definitely uh, competing in the UFC is uh, on top of the list. So um, um, it's, uh, I started out in martial arts. I, I love to compete and I, I'm gonna try to compete as long as I could. Can't, uh, can't fight forever, but I'm gonna do as long as I could. Being part of UFC was a huge uh, accomplishment, and uh, you know, looking for my first win. It's gonna be a very tough fight, very competitive fight against Patrick Forte, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm glad he uh, took the fight on last minute notice, and thank you for that. And you know, um, yeah, fighters get injured all the time, and it's just part of the game. And um, uh, wish Franklin pulled out to take over, you know, for uh, 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 Vitor and. Now we, we, I think this is a, uh, an exciting matchup for all the fans. It was a, a big adjustment because uh, Patrick Cote is an orthodox uh, fighter and uh, Rich Franklin is a southpaw, so um, definitely big difference. But just changing out my sparring partners and uh, making sure that they, uh, they you know, they, they come in and they push me hard. Uh, you know, hey, the odds, they, it was just a grin. Like, I, I actually like being the underdog, so um, I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, but it's all about odds. You know the, the odd maker and just like Patrick said when you step in that cage it's 50 50 so you know it, it, when the smoke clears made a better man stand uh, you know I think it's uh, the sense of is pretty bad now it's a good thing <laughs> I think uh, I think the I'm picking Anderson Silva by the end of the third round. I think it's going to be a very different this time. It's going to be a, it's not going to be surprised by the pace of Chell, but you know I really hope we're going to have a good fight. You know for the main event like that. It's so uh, everybody's waiting for this rematch, and I just hope it's going to be a, an amazing fight for the company and for the fans. Well, last uh, March 31st in Brazil, I won my, in the knockout first round. And uh, I was staying in shape. You know, I knew it that I was close to be back in the UFC, and uh, probably this situation could happen, like late replacement or late call. And I was staying in shape. And uh, you know, like I said, I fought March 31st. I took four days off, get back in the gym. I was already oh, in good shape to fight, and uh, they called me with four four weeks before the, the, the event. So that was just a bonus for me to have this uh, four weeks of training more. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I never fought a guy like like Conway before. You know, he's one of a kind. He's very unique. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of thing I had to take in my training, and uh, you know, I brought some good guy, like I said, good softball kicker. They were doing, uh, you know, this, they were trying to do the style of Conway. Uh, it's like when I fought Anderson Silva. You know, they're just, they're so different from everybody else. But you know what? I, I think I did pretty good against Anderson Silva until I uh, lost my knee, and I'm ready to do the same kind of performance without the injury with against uh, Conley. Uh, you know, for me, um, stepping in uh, into the octagon, it's uh, you know with four ounce gloves, it's always uh, you know a game changer. Uh, Patrick today has very heavy hands, so on top of four ounce gloves. You know, just gotta go out there and uh, just leave it all in the cage and not hold back. So that, I just uh, train hard and uh, I, I'm planning to fight very hard. So I'm looking forward to it. She asked me what, what uh, how I felt uh, about uh, my comeback in the UFC and uh, you know, against a dangerous striker again, like a uh, company. And I said, I'm just happy to be back. Uh, on the big show like that, on the main card right away. Uh, so I'm just I'm just happy and give a good show for the fans and uh, you know for everybody who support me uh, for the last 18 months they were trying to, to put me back in the, in the big show and uh, here I am now. So uh, I actually found a good nose doctor this time around and he got it pretty uh, pretty you know a lot straighter than the other one you know until uh, 
think I'm done with fighting, then I'll, I'll really fix it. But, you know, I, I think it's pretty straight now. So, you know, hey, thanks, Riley. Hey, you know, I got a free nose job. <laughs> no, I'm more mature now. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm doing what I should do maybe three or four years ago, you know, about my training, about my lifestyle of fighter. Took less time between fights, so I was less injured, and uh, you know, always in good shape. Uh, working a lot on my on my uh, weakness, and uh, you know, more dedicated about about the sport than I was like three or four years ago. So, you know what? You learn by uh, by the time you learn by the mistake. Like I said, I'm doing now what I should do maybe three or four years ago, but it's never too late. Uh, so I'm back now. Can't wait. Uh, can't wait to fight Saturday. Enter code HUB749 for a domain name discount and enter the codes below for other great discounts from GoDaddy.com.